Good morning, everyone. Today is the long-awaited three-day eventing show, the Jorvigan Horse Trials. If you guys watched my previous video, A Week in the Life Pre-Eventing, then you know I'm taking Autumn. I've had this girl since she was three, and now she's 11, which is insane to say. We've come a long way together, both as rider and horse, and I knew we'd get far, but I didn't think we'd be competing to go to a international event. After all, when I had gotten her, everything was new for her. She was my first project horse and the horse that really pushed me to be the rider I am today. It's pretty surreal that we are going to be competing in one of the biggest events here in Jorvik. We've got our dressage test later in the afternoon and a trot up in the morning. It is literally the crack of dawn right now. And I've got a horse to plat up and bathe, so let's hit the road. When I got there, I was so relieved I allowed time for a bath because she had a nice big poo stain right on her neck. And since I cannot plot a horse's mane for the life of me, I had Angela, my lovely groom, do it instead while I got my outfit for the trot up. I also did my hair and makeup, and I had a little fashion show for the barn. Once Autumn was all plotted up, we took the remaining things we needed to pack and loaded her in the trailer for the drive to Jarlaheim as the eventing show was being held there. I think she could tell we were heading to a show because she was looking a little bit more fidgety than usual on the trailer cam. I guess she just takes after me in that way. We arrived and she settled into her stall with some of the other horses. The barn was bustling with people. They were coming in and out getting their horses ready for the trot up or dressage. While I was unpacking the rest of our stuff, some of my grooms helped me groom Autumn for the trot up. At 10 a.m. it was time for our trot up. This is basically where the event vet assesses whether a horse is sound to compete. And thank goodness we passed. We had a few hours to kill before my dressage test, so I went out for coffee with some new and old friends. My nerves were pretty bad at this point, so it was so nice to get my mind off the test, just relax and hang out with my friends. It's also nice to know that they were feeling the same way, so I didn't feel so alone. And here's a little fit check for my dressage test. Now entering the ring, Molly Riversea on her 11-year-old warm blood mare, Autumn Dew. Honestly, I could not have asked for a better dressage test. I was so proud of Autumn. After we left the ring, I was fortunate enough to be able to speak to my trainer, Linda, who came all the way down to watch me and give me some tips. She gave me some really good insight on areas I did well and places I could improve on. When the results came out, I was so pleased to see that we ended up with a score of 31.3, which put us in fourth place after dressage was over. Coming back to my hotel that night, I was absolutely over the moon, but also so exhausted from running around all day, and I am sure Autumn felt the same. But overall, day one was a success. If you ask me, morning came way too quickly, and it was day two, which is show jumping, which means memorizing a whole entire course in one morning. Luckily for me, I had some amazing helpers there to walk me through it and analyze what I needed to be doing and looking for on the course. Eventually, we made it to the warm-up arena. Autumn was feeling very fresh and ready to go. I was feeling great as well. I kept reminding myself that all I've got to do is try my best and whatever happens, happens. I worked on getting her nice and supple and relaxed. A good warm-up makes everyone feel a lot more at ease going into the ring.
here I am with a superstar of a horse. We just got her cooled down and back in her stall. Okay, our jumping run was clear. Autumn was flying over those jumps. However, we did have some shaky lines coming up to some of them, but we made it work and I'm very, very proud of how she did today. No matter the results, I'm just gonna be happy with how we did. Anyways, we have an equine massage therapist coming out later tonight to hopefully make her feel really great for cross country tomorrow. Before the massage therapist came, I was able to hang out with some friends and watch some other people before their rounds, and we had a really good time cheering others on. To wrap that night up, Autumn got a very well-deserved massage. And welcome to the final day of the Jorvigan Horse Trials. By this point, I was absolutely exhausted, but of course, it was one of the most rigorous days. Cross country. My energy bar was low, but I was still super excited for cross country. We got headed out, and I apologize for the lack of footage here, but I was just scrambling to get ready. Butterflies were in my stomach. I was feeling a lot of pressure to do well since my dressage and jumping rounds placed me in top five, and I didn't want to mess that up with cross country. Our distances were a little sloppy at first, as you guys can see, but we definitely started getting the hang of it as we went on and we really kind of clicked which usually doesn't happen i feel like it's the other way around like we increasingly get worse because she's losing stamina but thankfully it was the opposite this time and um yeah guess you guys will just have to watch and see how she did I was so proud of her after a clear cross country round. She really kept great stamina throughout the entire course. Even at the finishing stretch, she was still running her heart out. We finished only two seconds under the optimum time. The most important thing to me is that we were safe and having fun, which we definitely were. I spent a while cooling her down by walking her out and hosing her and icing her legs. And then, sooner than later, it was time for the much-anticipated award ceremony. They gave recognition to the top 10 riders, and I don't know why I think this way, but when they got to the top 5, I was like, okay, surely I did not make it into the top 5, because I really thought that cross-country, like, two seconds off, screwed me up. And they announced 5th and 4th place... And then, now we are coming up to our top three for this weekend. In third place, we have Molly Riversea. And just like that, we have finished one of the most eventful weekends of my life. Words cannot describe how proud I am of this horse. I just have that really good feeling in me right now when you accomplish something really big that you've been working towards and I could not be happier. 
with our dressage test and can I just say I'm impressed with myself for not blacking out and forgetting bits of it. Show jumping was honestly the best round we've had together ever probably. Autumn was such a rock star and I do not care that we went a little under the optimum time for cross country. She went clear, we were safe and having fun and that is all that matters. So thank you so much for coming to the show with me. It was a bit wild at times, but we managed. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you all enjoy this video and I will catch you guys later.